Oh, another day at the park, another episode coming at ya. The audacity of these cars, sorry about it. They're gonna be kinda making noise during the video. But anyway, today marks day one, smoke free. I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, God damn, are you gonna make up your mind? Are you gonna make up your mind, bro? You gonna make up your mind, bro? Or are you just gonna keep relapsing and smoking? Um, you know. Oh man, it's been quite a journey. It's crazy how you can go from four months. You know, I quit smoking weed for four months. I was staying strong. I mean, not, it wasn't like even hard. It was enjoyable. It was an amazing experience. And then like, just like that, my roommate left for the weekend, the house was to ourselves and there was weed all over the house, um, which is, you know, is not good. But uh, so yeah, there's weed all over the house and I ended up smoking and then within going from three months or four months to smoking every day again. You know, that's how easy it is when you're, when you've been addicted to something, it's so easy to just go right back into those cycles again right back into those cycles again so last night man I had I had a, the almost the exact same experience as the night before the night before I quit last time where I got way too high I felt like absolute shit the whole night I'm telling myself why do I keep doing this to myself and uh, I did you know I was using positive affirmations and things like that instead of saying I'm never smoking weed again I'm never smoking weed again I was saying like I'm better than this, you know, I'm healthier than this, I deserve more than this, this is ridiculous. So follow me on my journey, I know a lot of you guys that watch my videos found me through my quitting weed video, um, so if you're having a hard time with it, follow me on my journey, today's day one, August 18th, and... <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm going to Thailand in October 10th, and I'm leaving Florida in two weeks. And, you know, once I leave Florida, it's going to make everything so much easier because I'm my roommate, who I live with right now, smokes, like, like all the time, you know. And uh, by no means is there any excuses. Like, she is not the reason why I keep smoking, but it's definitely hard. It's definitely easier when it's just sitting there all the time right in front of you. So that's definitely a, definitely something I would suggest to people is don't be around it. Don't be around it, period, if you can. You know, my situation, I really can't, you know, because that's my roommate. But I'm, but I'm taking myself out of that situation I'm going to Thailand the reason I'm going to Thailand isn't solely because of that but it's definitely one of the reasons is to for rehabilitation so with that being said guys follow me on my journey I you know all the comments all the support I love it all um, I will support you if, if you if you smoked yesterday or today or whatever then let's start now or whatever it is if you if you ate way too much food or ate some shitty food if you drank alcohol any type of regret that you had let's start today and let's go from there I got two more weeks two more weeks here in Florida and then I'm off to well Two more weeks here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Then I'm off to see my family in Tampa. Then I'm going to Chicago. Then I'm going to Michigan. Then I'm going to Thailand. And where all these other places, I'm not going to be surrounded by surrounded by the by weed as much. And it's also just going to be different. My lifestyle is going to be different. So I'm getting a road bike too today um, from from where I work from Trek. They're going to sell me a road bike for super cheap. And that's my new lifestyle, biking, you know, um, uh, making videos, things like that. So, um, so yeah, that's what's in the mix. It's true expression of self. True expression of self for me to you. I always want to be honest. And I, the relapse was not necessary by any means. By any means, it was not necessary. But. If I were to say anything positive about it, it just gives me that much more of a perspective 
to want to quit even more because it, it it brought me back to that back to feeling like shit again this is the thing like for me it's just a matter of time i can go it just doesn't work for me man i can't just smoke once and then go a couple weeks without it or a month without it i just can't do it i can't do it so i'm getting back to all i'm going back to all of my old bullshit ways in my head where um you know when i'm coming home from work now i'm starting to think about it is it going to be there uh you know and i've been paying for it too specifically i've been giving my roommate money every single time i smoke specifically to remind myself how fucking dumb i am for doing this you know uh, so so every time I smoke I'm like all right well I gotta give her three bucks gotta give her five bucks I gotta give it to her because it, it if I weren't giving it to her then it would be easier for me to just keep smoking but like I'm um, I'm like making sure every time I'm giving giving away my money it's like my tips for the day and everything from from being a bike mechanic are going into it and it's driving me fucking mad and I'm and I'm sitting there like knowing how fucked up it is but i'm still doing it and that's addiction that's addiction but luckily i'm luckily i know you know that that, that i need to change this shit now luckily i know that so follow me on my journey i'll follow you post videos if you a if, the best thing to do is to make a video honestly making the videos is what helped me the most because it sets your intention permanently so this is it this is day one and i'm gonna make a video every single day for 14 days i how about that i just made that up now i'm gonna make a video every single day for 14 days and by the 14th day that's perfect because i leave in 14 days so that's that's perfect i didn't even think about that i leave floor i leave fort lauderdale in 14 days and I'm gonna make a video every single day until then and then and then once that's done that's gonna be the fucking cap that's capping it off because after that I won't even have access to weed anyway you know once I leave Fort Lauderdale I won't even have access to it anyway until maybe until I get back to Michigan which by then is gonna be so it's gonna be almost a month from now and I'm gonna be past it alright so that's that external pressure is internal pressure too so that's why i'm saying my my roommate having weed is not that's internal pressure the pressures i feel from her smoking is is of course it's internally she's not putting any pressure on me at all so it's in external peer pressure is just internal pressure within so i gotta go to work now i biked out here to the park check me out um, i'm gonna upload this probably when i get back from work and I'm gonna upload a video every single day until I move out of my, the house that I'm at right now. And I'm gonna prove, I'm gonna utilize all the tips that I've been giving. I already did, it's the craziest thing is I've done it. I've went weed free for four freaking months. And then it's just like, bang, just like that. So, with that being said, I just got a text, so now I'm distracted. With that being said, I'm making a video every single day. I'm gonna, I'm, but this is it. This is the last day. I'm quitting. You can mark my words. You can hold me to it. You can keep commenting, keep asking, holding me to it. The relay, I, that's what happens though, you know? You, you, that's what happens to most people. They, they quit. They know they should quit. They quit. Then they normally have one relapse, you know, one bad relapse right and after that it's like that's it it gives you that much extra perspective to be like okay this is why i was doing this in the first place all right so another episode of the books mc me tv the lighting is way better now but anyway you know another episode of the books mc me tv coming at you true expression of self for me to you yep yep here we go we got energy